5 things you must know about Amsterdam. Tap water is great. I've been drinking tap water all my life and look how I turned out. <laughs> tap water is totally safe to drink in the Netherlands. And especially in Amsterdam, it's often of better quality than bottled water. That's impossible! In a study from 2020, the Dutch tap water was of the second highest quality of Europe. Number one was Austria. The water companies in the Netherlands use advanced technology to filter the water without using chlorine or fluorides right whatever other countries use to filter their water when you're outside you see a lot of these old school water fountains which i personally not recommend because it's also the resting place for pigeons but in recent years there's also more and more of these modern water points from a company called join the pipe and it's very easy you just grab your bidon or plastic water bottle and then you press the button no drones allowed in amsterdam because the amsterdam airport schiphol is so close to amsterdam the whole city is a red zone or a no fly zone for drones without a permit it really is just a 13 minute train ride from the airport to the central station if you're gonna fly your drone here keep in mind that in addition to paying a high fine there's also the chance that the police will confiscate your drone. I guess Casey Neistat and Peter McKinnon were lucky when they were cycling over here. There is nothing we can do. Stop this plague from breaking through. No Dutch restaurants. Okay, there are a few Dutch restaurants, but this sounds more dramatic. I think you can count on two hands the restaurants that serve authentic Dutch dishes. And I honestly can't say anything about them because I never went inside any of them myself. Anyways, you'll see that the streets are overloaded with restaurants from every culture you can imagine. But the Dutch restaurants, they are hard to find. The Dutch food is mainly famous for its cookies, snacks, um, fish, stuff like that. But if you're really looking for one of these authentic Dutch dinner dishes, one of those restaurants, I'll pop them up on the screen right now. You can make a screenshot of this right now. And then later when you're here in Amsterdam, you can look them up. Almost all locals speak English. The official language of the Netherlands is Dutch, but you can easily get by without speaking any word of Dutch. Amsterdam gets a lot of tourists, so the people in the shops and such are very much used to speaking English. Yes, and maybe when you're gonna go outside Amsterdam, it might be that you stumble upon a person who speaks just the words yes, no, or supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. But the majority of the Amsterdam residents speak English very well and on top of that they are often fluent in one or two other languages. One of the main reasons that the Dutch English speak good are is that we do not dub the movies. We watch every movie in its original language. If there is a Eskimo movie, we will watch that movie in the Eskimo language. And yes, there's not so much Eskimo movies being made, so our Eskimo vocabulary is not that high. But English is the main language of the movie industry. All our lives, we see John Travolta, we see Jim Carrey, we hear their voices. Unlike other European countries, if you're in Germany, you will hear a German Jim Carrey. If you're in France, he is talking French. If you're in Spain, he's talking Chinese. Just kidding, he talks Spanish. El bolígrafo es azul. El bolígrafo es azul. El maldito bolígrafo es azul. And I even remember when I was young in my time that I was watching the cartoons in English. Nowadays, I think they do dub the cartoons for the kids. And I was still fortunate enough to watch Fred Flintstone or the Jetsons with the original English voices. The I Amsterdam sign gone, it's moving. After 14 years of standing prominently on Museum Square in front of the Rijksmuseum, the I Amsterdam letters were removed at the end of 2018. This was the main set of letters. There was also another set of letters which was moving from location to location. Sometimes it was in the middle of the Vandelpark or behind Central Station or in front of the Rijk Convention Center or all the way in the Southeast. There's also another set of letters which is more like a free running parkour thing which is all the way in the far west of Amsterdam. But this was the real deal. It was on Museum Square in between the Rijksmuseum and the Van Gogh Museum. So really at a top location, people had to take a selfie with the sign when they were visiting Amsterdam. It was one of those bucket list things to do. You can't go to Amsterdam without taking a picture with the I Amsterdam letters. But that was also the reason why it was moved. And I read that there were around 6,000 selfies per day taken in front of those letters. And I wonder how they counted that. Like someone is with a machine like, oh, was that, a, was that a photo? No. But that was also the main reason why it was removed because of the mass tourism, which presumably had a negative effect on the city. Yes, sir. Negative effect. In my opinion, 
I think the letters could have stayed there. Anyways, the tourists are going to Museum Square. Two of the most visited museums of the world, the Rijksmuseum and the Van Gogh Museum, are right there. Plus there's also the concert building, the Moko Museum, the Diamond Museum, everything is at Museum Square. I guess, okay, some people would go there just for the letters, but anyways, thousands and thousands of tourists are going to Museum Square anyways. Plus, it's at the central location, very close to the Vondel Park, and Leicester Square is also around the corner. It anyways already is crowded. But okay, nothing to do about it. Um, so whenever you visit Amsterdam, you can still see another set of letters, not these letters at this beautiful location, Museum Square, but there's a set next to the airport. You can go to that set of letters all the way in the far west, the Parkour I Amsterdam track, but uh, some are upright and some are laying down. I, um, here's a photo. And sometimes there's another set of letters which is traveling from location to location. You can just look on iamsterdam.com or something to see if there's another set of letters and where they are. 